How do we look? You look fabulous. Oh, thank you very much. Welcome back to Morning Live. This is weird. This is the first time I've sat on the couch since the beginning of the pandemic. Well, it's a new couch, too. I'm breaking it in. This is amazing. I know. This. New leather smell <laughs> and the great Orbax joins us. So just this morning, we're finally welcoming guests back to our studio, our brand new studios. It's absolutely here at CHCH. beautiful. Thank you very much. Yeah. You enjoyed the green room? I did. Mm -hmm. And all the history, there's so much history of CHCH that's scattered around here. It's beautiful. Yeah, and actually we have that uh, acknowledged uh, through the uh, hallways here. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it's a great new future here. And yeah, it's pretty state of the art. So we're excited. So excited. And we thought, who do we get for our first morning uh, <laughs> guest? Well, we had the mayor of Hamilton on earlier. And uh, so you, second on the list, I guess, is me, right? The great Orbax. <laughs> yeah. And actually, it's quite timely, too, mm -hmm. because uh, now. Regular Morning Live viewers might recognize the great uh, Orvax from the Monsters of Schlock, sure. which is like the height of entertainment. Well, thank you very much. That's incredibly kind. I don't know that a lot of people share that uh, view, but... <laughs> well, your partner is Pepper. It's Orvax and Pepper. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I mean, getting a fish, fish hook and a staple through a tongue. I mean, that's that's comedy. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you guys do. It's like it is. It's, it's like the Three Stooges meets, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's just sort of a circus meets vaudeville. Yeah, it's a yeah. slapstick comedy it's at its finest. Funny as heck, though. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. So uh, you actually did uh, a pretty big gig recently. I know you can't talk about it. There's a big NDA, but yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I can't actually talk about it. Say it's something. A, say something. Well, we just did. We were on Canada's Got Talent. We yeah. just did that. That was pretty exciting and, and fun to get yeah. a chance to go out and show everybody. Yeah. Uh, what we did yeah and you're on uh, okay I'm a leaker you're on America's Got Talent but that's all you can say that's all we can say we auditioned for America's Got Talent right okay okay sounds like a return visit for the great orbacks and maybe <laughs> pepper too <laughs> I as can't say it as long as you bring towels. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's talk about the stars because your other gig is at the University of Guelph. It is in the physics department. It is the great Orbax, and it's so fantastic. Your YouTube videos and it has attracted so many viewers because uh, you, you really make stargazing fun. Well, thank you very much. My 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 whole idea when I started the stargazing series was that if you're like me, you kind of only find out about these celestial events after they've happened. Right. And so I wanted to put out a monthly series where it's like these are the things that are coming up this month these are the things to mark in your calendar let's get out there and let's get our families to all look up in the sky and sort of get excited about science yeah and as I mentioned your visit to today is timely because this week is a biggie yeah up until next Monday so we've got an entire week for this uh, is a planetary alignment it's the first time it's happened in 18 years and it'll be another 18 years before the next one okay happens. so what you're saying is don't miss it <laughs> well you got a week so I'm giving you lots of time <laughs> yeah. to get out there and look up but we've got five planets visible planets in order of their orbits from the sun all lining up. So we got Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn all lined up in the sky along a straight line. Very, very cool. Mm -hmm. Early in the morning, so it's going to be just before dawn, probably 90 minutes to 60 minutes before dawn. So unfortunately around 430 in the morning. <laughs> OK, now what would you uh, recommend for the amateur to uh, really observe this phenom without spending a lot of money? Yeah, well, that's the great thing is that this is one of these sort of phenomenal uh, celestial dances that you can go out and see with the unaided eye. So you don't need any extraneous materials. You just need to get up and go out and look. But as always, you know, our biggest enemies with stargazing are things like cloud cover, yeah. things like weather, things like light pollution. Right. So if you want to make a day of it, my recommendation is on the morning of the 23rd, the crescent waning moon actually joins that lineup. So you have the <laughs> five visible planets with the crescent moon in the middle of them. So let's hope for some good weather for that one. Yeah, Brian promises it's going to be clear this week. So. Fantastic. So then that would be the bet I would say if you've got an opportunity to kind of get out just outside of the city, maybe even just take a chair, uh, chair, take a pair of binoculars right. with you. Um, you'll have a great opportunity to check it out. Okay. So with binoculars, what kind of detail, if any, would you see? Not a whole lot, but uh -huh. it will help you cut through um, just, just the just the peripheral uh, uh, light pollution and just get an actual chance to see it. Uranus is also in the lineup, as is Neptune, but they're going to require really dark skies, but you could still do them with binoculars. Okay. Um, for someone interested in getting into it, again, without spending a lot of money, but uh, what would you recommend uh, as far as equipment? Like, if you want to see details like the rings on Saturn. Right, yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of people have gotten into stargazing over the pandemic, um, and I've, I've been part of a couple of Facebook stargazing photography groups where people are even just connecting their smartphones to a a small telescope and right. be able to actually pick up on stuff like that. My biggest recommendation for people if they're getting into this stuff is the Royal Astronomical Society of Canada mm -hmm. runs groups out of 
pretty major cities all over Ontario and all over Canada. So reach out to them, find a group that's near you, and the easiest way to learn is from learning from other people. Yeah, okay. Uh, now there's also some constellations that can be seen this month. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're, we're, we're starting to come into our summer constellations, so it's a great opportunity to check those out. I use an app called Skyview, yeah. which allows you to, it geotags you, locks you in a location, you point it up at the sky and it shows all the constellation art. You can poke out and see everything. Uh, the Big Dipper was gorgeous last night, sitting right up there in the sky, an opportunity to check that out. It's pretty fun. Yeah, and there's a lot of uh, obscure ones we're not really familiar with, but uh, you point out in your YouTube channel. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, I, I try to, one of the things I try to target is uh, what planets you can see in the sky, what new constellations are coming up every month that maybe we have an investigator, maybe aren't as popular as some of the bigger ones that you've seen. Yeah. And then other sort of big celestial events like this, uh, tomorrow is the solstice, the summer solstice, demarcating the point in the year where the uh, daylight actually starts to decrease as we approach winter. Yes. Very exciting stuff. We're going to link up your YouTube oh, channel fantastic. at chch.com because it, it is amazing. And like I say, you put a lot of fun into it too. Well, thanks. So, uh, and I'm sure you're bringing a lot of people into uh, getting interested in the hobby. Well, that's that's, that's the hopeful part. You know, we're, we're in this world where, where science needs to be a thing of value. Yeah. Hey, thanks for visiting us. Uh, we've got a new rule here, not like the uh, old building. You can't sign the couch. <sighs> Sorry. Rules, I know. Unfortunately, I've already done it. But we want to get... Oh, <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs>